My name's Jeremy Staples. I'm a former resident of Toowoomba, but I'll always call it my second home. First up, I'd like to acknowledge that this project takes place on the Gaibal and Jarrawa land. Sovereignty of this land has never been ceded. Today in this workshop, I'll be demonstrating and discussing the process of creating an eight-page mini-zine, along with what is a zine, how they can be used, along with avenues how to distribute them. Today's workshop is brought to you by Youth Connect, the Toowoomba Regional Council's City Master Plan Review, and the Southwest Queensland Regional Arts Service Network. It's also a chance for you to join in on the conversation about the future of our city centre. If you haven't yet, you can go to the You'll Say website to add your thoughts about what Toowoomba of 2030 looks like to you. For this workshop, you will need some A4 paper, pens, paper, scissors and some glue. Other items that may be also helpful are magazines, books, newspapers, anything that you can use to cut up and do some collaging with. But why not have a dig through these cupboards at home? Who knows what you'll find. With the restrictions currently being slowly lifted, it's a great opportunity to start reflecting on personal future goals for the rest of 2020. Or how you'd like to see the future of Toowoomba City. How it would look, how it would feel. What is a zine? Zines are self-published publications made by anyone, just like yourself. Zines can be on any topic imaginable, and that's why they're an amazing resource, accessible to anyone. You don't need any special tools, skills, and the great thing about them that I really enjoy is the lack of rules. It's quite amazing what someone at home can produce, share, create, make changes via these small bits of paper. Let's start making your mini eight page zine. Pick up your A4 sheet of paper and fold it in half lengthways. We want to fold it in half again and then one more time. That final fold will be the size of your final zine, but we're not finished just yet. We then want to unfold it to a flat bit of paper again. When, this time around, when we fold it in half, we want to fold it portrait-wise. The end result will look like a standard size book. So if you picture this as a book, one side has a spine, the other side has open pages. On the spine side, cut along that centre crease, but just to that halfway mark. This is really important. Once folded in half, grab each end and then squeeze them both together. As you can see, there's an opening in the centre. If yours doesn't open in the centre, that's fine. All you need to do is get your fingers in there and open it up. Once it's opened up, then squeeze both ends. As you can see, the middle starts closing over the top of each other and then fold each end over each other. It's a little bit tricky, but as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. The end result is the eight page mini zine ready for you to get creative. Now we've completed the folded zine, the real fun begins. We can get creative and this is where you take full control over the contents. You are the journalist, the artist, the author, the poet. This is the opportunity to have your say about absolutely anything. Today I've brought along a whole heap of fun creative tools. You may have some of these at home, you may not. The great thing about zines, there is no rules. Cutting and pasting is a huge part of the zine culture, and as the title suggests, that's all it is. Scissors, glue, using these old magazines that would otherwise be discarded. Let's get creative, do some collaging. Using these old magazines is a great resource. It's an amazing tool to get all letters of different fonts and sizes. You can even do that classic ransom letter thing, using different letters from each different word. You can get really creative with this. As zines are such a freeform art form, anything goes. You can handwrite directly on the page, you could dig out that old typewriter, or you can even just type something out on the computer and print it out. It could be your text, it could be some images, your own photos, absolutely anything. The other things to consider is, what is the purpose of this zine? Do you want to put your name in it? Are you promoting something? Do you want to put your blog, web links, contacts? Do you want others to contribute? Is this a one-off zine or is this something that you want to make as an ongoing project? And that's it, you've created your very own zine. 
I guess now you can consider how you want to distribute it. Or is this something personal just for you? Or would you like to share it with friends, family? Or do you just want to keep it for future reflections to see how you've grown, changed, or even these 2020 goals for the rest of the year? To find out more about what I do, head to the web links below. But don't forget to share your vision of Toowoomba City Centre at the Your Say website. We would love to see what you've made today. Share your creations using the following hashtags. Home Project TR, Toowoomba Region, Our City TR on social media.